Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Couple channel. I'm Wendy and here is my non-spoiler review for Renfield. Renfield is directed by Chris McKay and stars Nicolas Cage, Nicholas Holt, Aquafita, Brendan Scott Jones, and Ben Schwartz. The tortured assistant to his narcissistic boss, Dracula, is forced to procure his master's prey and do his every bidding. However, after centuries of servitude, he is ready to see if there's a life outside of the shadow of the Prince of Darkness. Ever since I saw the first trailer for Renfield, I was sold. It's a dark comedy, it's got Nick Cage, it's got Nicholas Holt. What else could I ask for? I think the combination of the two, the two Nicks, if you will, their juxtaposition to each other is so fun to see on screen. And I think one of the best part of the movie is Nick Cage being Dracula, just this very, because it is Dracula, he gets to be big and theatrical and grand and I feel like Nicolas Cage really got to lean in to this role and just really had fun with it. I feel like as I was watching the film and during all of his scenes, he was just having fun being Dracula. And how could you not? So based on the trailer on the surface, you think, okay, so we've got Renfield who is his essentially lifelong assistant or eternal long assistant doing his master's every bidding. They've lived through years, through centuries, and etc. to the point where Renfield is getting a little bit tired of doing all the biddings, having to um, help gather the victims, aka food, for Dracula. He's just getting tired of the lifestyle. And I like that the way they, they framed it in the trailer where he is in a support group talking about being in a toxic relationship and the, that relationship is between, you know, employee and boss and he feeling stuck, he can't get out of it, and how does he, how can he get support to kind of be independent of that lifestyle? But the movie is so much more than this. Essentially, Dracula wants to dominate the world, but given his current state, he is not at full power, so he needs Renfield to go out there and do his every bidding to help nurse him and heal him back to full power so he can take over the world. But while in doing so, Renfield comes across and he crosses paths with Teddy, who is a part or I guess essentially you can say kind of the leader of the Lobo gang. And that is how we cross paths with Aquafina's character who is a police officer. Without giving too much away because I want you to guys to see how everything unravel in the movie, this movie just kept on giving and building and building. There's different layers to actually all the characters. I would say all the characters got a really good amount of uh, development and arc. Teddy got his story, Renfield obviously, even Dracula. I kind of wanted a little bit more from Aquafina and her side of things. Like essentially she got her arc, but there are characters that are connected directly to Aquafina that I wish we got to see a little bit more of, but still it was really fun to see how everything played out. And what's interesting with this movie is, yes, it is a, it is a dark comedy and they leaned really into that comedy as aspect of it from the action to the gore. I mean, the action was good, but the gore is like, think cocaine bear type of action over the top, and it was perfect for this film. With Dracula, Dracula starts off with, he's still menacing and scary because he is Dracula, but he is a little bit more of a caricature in the beginning of the first act because he is not at full power, so he just yells and screams a lot. He can't really physically do anything. He can't go out. He can't turn into a bat. He can't do a lot of things. He can't fight. So he needs Renfield to do all that. As we see in the movie, he continues to heal and get more and more powerful. And by the third act, he is frightening. So yes, the movie starts a bit chaotic as I expected, but by the third act, I was fully invested and it even got a little bit emotional to be completely honest with you. And I also just love Nicholas Holt in roles like this. He is so great and th his acting, the way he breaks down the script and the lines, uh, and he is in these scenes in the support group just like unintentionally giving his motivational intentions was so great to see and it was very Renfield, so I completely enjoyed that. Aquafina was really badass as well. I haven't seen her in, I mean, yeah, she got to do action in Shang-Chi, but this was even more so and I was really impressed and I want more roles like this for Aquafina. Renfield is so much fun and I'm going to rate this movie a check it out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below once you've seen Renfield in theaters and of course, no spoilers in the comments. And if you're gonna do com, if you're gonna do spoilers, at least give it a big spoiler warning before you start typing out your comment. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next review.